What are the pros and cons of being 24 seven? Sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. So I wanna keep in mind, I'm not 24 seven, but I have gone 24 seven for 11 days before and six days. So I wanna to talk to you guys about the pros and cons of what it was being 24 seven at that, in my opinion, the pros and cons. And then what would happen if you went 24 seven for a lot longer than that, like a year? And what would happen if you went 24 uh, seven, if you didn't go 24 seven, like what would the negatives be and all that different stuff. So first off is my longest I said was 11 days. I didn't lose incontinence at all. I don't think most people ever lose incontinence. So you have to think about peeing as a muscle. When you go to the gym and you, and you work out a lot, you build that bicep up, you build that chest up, you build your legs up, and you build that muscle up. And as you get older, if you don't work out, right, you lose that muscle. You lose that muscle memory, you, you lose that muscle. So it's almost like when you're peeing in your diaper all the time, you're losing that muscle memory of being able to hold it and go to the bathroom. And so the longer you go, the more easier it is for you to just pee in your diaper whenever you need to go pee. So like for me, you know, I think about going pee, but then when I start peeing, I don't even have to think about it as much anymore. It's getting easier and easier every time I go pee in my diaper. And so, when I was 24 seven for 11 days, after that 11 days, like the next day I didn't wear, and I almost peed myself because I wasn't thinking about, you know, I was thinking about, hey, I'm just, let's go pee. And then I was like, wait a second, whoa, I'm not wearing a diaper right now. Like I need to not do that. So I was able to catch myself because I hadn't been 24 seven long enough. But if I went for like a month or two months or three months, I might wet myself because I might be thinking, oh my gosh, like I'm so used to using a diaper that I haven't used a toilet in a couple months. Like I hadn't used a toilet in literally 11 days. So it was kind of like, I was so used to just peeing in my diaper that like I got used to that. So you would just get used to it. But when you want to train back to, you know, uh, using a toilet, you can always go back to that. Now we don't want to do that. We like using our diapers and that's why we're ABDL. <laughs> but if you ever want to go back, if you ever have to go back, you can train to go back. It's not like, it's just a muscle memory thing. So it just takes time going both ways. It's going to take time going both ways. If you've been using the toy your whole life, it's going to take a long time to untrain yourself. And then when you untrain yourself, it's going to take time to retrain yourself, but not as long as it took to untrain yourself. It won't take you that long, okay? It won't take you that long because you've already trained yourself before, so you're just retraining yourself. It's like if you go to the gym and work out for, for, for 20 years, and then you stop working out for a year, and you go back and start working out again, you're not gonna be from zero. You're gonna be from like 50% or 60%. You're gonna be like, it's gonna be a lot easier to get back into it, you know? If you, it, that's what happens. Same thing with this. So, my pros and cons being 24-7, First off, let's go over the cons. First off, the con is messing. I, I, I like messing, but it's the cleanup. I always have to clean up a lot. It takes a while and you have to clean it all up. And it's hard because like, you know, when I went 24 seven for, oh, my last time I went 24 seven for six days, I was at my parents' house and I was wearing a pull up. I wasn't wearing a diaper, I was wearing a pull up and I had to poop. And like usually I don't, I don't, I've never messed myself without having to like, you know, without knowing because I always, like that's something I've never learned how to do. I can't just like, like I could pee, you know, easily with just kind of peeing, but like messing, I, I like have to go and I, I can hold it and like, you know, I mean, same thing with peeing, but like it's, you know, you have to go poop. And when you have to go, you just have to go. And so I, I couldn't hold it and I wasn't able to go home in time. So I was like, I got to use the toilet. So I used the toilet and went poop. So, you know, doing that, it makes it kind of hard when you're, when you're around people. It makes it kind of hard to clean up. So that's kind of one of the cons. Second con is like, like I said, like, you know, if you wear 24 seven, it's just not like super discreet and you have to wear certain outfits and there's certain outfits I want to wear, but I can't wear because I'm wearing a diaper. So it makes it kind of a little bit hard on that as well. Cause I have a lot of skirts and things as you saw in one of my other videos about skirts. I have a lot of skirts and things, but I can't wear most of those skirts with a diaper on. I have to wear it without a diaper. So it makes it really hard. So I really don't like that, but you know, that that's just what it is. You know, that 
you gotta you gotta wear certain outfits and buy more outfits that are more discreet, which I am doing. I'm getting more outfits and things like that that are discreet. I'm gonna be making some videos on that coming up. I'm gonna be getting some more outfits, some more overalls and things like that that are discreet. But you have to have those certain things because if you don't, it's just, you know, it's hard. The pros, there's a lot of pros. First off, you don't have to use the bathroom. You can pee wherever you want. Like right now, if I need to go pee, I can go pee right here. I'm wearing a potty pants diaper, and I'll leave a link in the description to these below. But I'm wearing a potty pants diaper, and if I need to go pee, I'll show you my diaper. My diaper, if I need to go pee, I can. That's what, that's what I like about it. That's a big pro. If you're going on a long road trip, wear a diaper. If you're going on a plane ride, wear a diaper. If you're going to go shopping, which I'm going to be making a video on, if you're going shopping, wear a diaper, right? So, you can always wear a diaper while you're doing certain things, and it's super convenient. You know, it's super convenient to wear a diaper while you're doing certain things, and you can always go pee wherever you need to go. Uh, another con I would say, I'm going to go back to the cons, but another con I would say is the, is the cost of it. The cost of it is a lot. Luckily, I'm in a situation where I had the money to afford it, and I'm not going 24-7, so I'm not wasting as many diapers. So, it's a little bit better for me, but it is a con, you know, because most people can't afford to be 24-7, and they want to be 24-7, but they can't be. Now, sooner or later, I might be 24-7, I don't know. It just depends on, you know, it just depends on my lifestyle and kind of what I want to do, but I might go 24-7. So, hopefully this helps a little bit knowing about 24-7 and my experience and stuff like that. Hopefully this helped you guys. If it did, leave a comment, click that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers for my birthday, August 2nd. I'm almost at 500, so we're getting really close. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!